Power, pass power in the kingdom of power. You be soldier. You don't know say your cock will fall one day. Well, I love exactly what Sawo Olu did. Many of you now they use one way. Me myself, I never used one way before. If to say now when Bonner Boy they use one way for Lagos, that's how we'll lose just the past. Maybe for arrest Bonner Boy too. Maybe Bonner Boy say, ah, I'll be a musician, Bonner Boy. Well, that was uh that was incident that happened today when governor of Lagos State Sawo Olu uh, arrested some few Okada riders that were using one way. And one of the Okada riders said, I'm a soldier. Well, that is well, that is uh, more of the reason why they should even arrest you. That is more of the reason why they should even arrest you because as a law enforcement agency, as a law enforcement uh, personnel, you shouldn't be breaking the law. You should be the one upholding the law. So your matter where we go take, they will use you set an example. You know, say you're not soldier people, not a bit one way where all of you guys are guilty of it. You might be used one way where where. So since they don't catch you, they will use you make example to others. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't pity him at all and others who are arrested. I don't pity such people. Honestly, I don't. I don't have one slightest pity for any of them. I love how Sawa Olu uh, affected the arrest of uh, the soldier and four others who were using one way with their motorcycle along Lagos Badagri Expressway. We're well, good for them. So, guys, uh, let's move past that. There was something I want to share with you from a lady who reveals some deep secrets. Honestly, this lady should have covered her face. Oh. This lady should have covered her face, honestly, because she received, she revealed some nasty secrets. And uh, you know, as Nigeria, Nigerians do not like the truth. And if you check, anybody that speaks the truth usually get arrested, criticized, and uh, backlash on the net, and the government will harass that person. Well, let's listen to the guy, guys. Do you know that most of these places that are under attack in northern Nigeria have some of the biggest natural resources underneath the ground and the trading of those natural resources are going on while people are being killed in those communities? Do you know? Now let me bring you up to speed real quick. If you realize some of the most fertile lands in northern Nigeria are the ones that are being attacked. Most of our fresh, beautiful vegetables and fruits come from Plato State. Do you know what is underneath those beautiful fertile lands? It is also solid minerals. Guza. For some of you who know, you know. People are killed daily while miners are mining those lands. How can you raise down an entire village? Bring it down to ashes. Evacuate everybody there. And go behind their backs to go and be mining their gold. How wicked can you be? Do you know that it's also affecting not only our economy, but also the food supply for the common man who cannot afford to eat? I am a farmer. Yes, I'm an agriculture entrepreneur. I deal with grains. And the rate at which food is going to be scarce in 2024, you are not ready for it. Things that we buy for as low as 20,000 when they are in surplus, we bought this year for 80,000 Naira when it was in surplus. 
you are not ready for it for us who do food storage business we know exactly what you are saying ask anybody who is into farming underneath all of this madness this crisis of insecurity is a major business of natural resource buying and selling illegal Zamfara has gold and daily gold is traded while people are killed and evacuated from their villages. They would rather pursue you because of insecurity and go and dig your land to take out gold and take out tin and take out other minerals. Yes, that's what's happening in Northern Nigeria. They attack people using insecurity as a blanket and a facade chase people out of their communities and go behind their backs to steal their natural resources what that those are the kinds of leaders we have in northern nigeria you are wicked people and you have blood on your hands and you're going to be judged for it you are taking blood money and you will die a bad death northern nigerian leaders Allah ya isa you trade your people for your pockets, the resources that's supposed to be for the community. You pocket it. And you live in Abuja and other cities across the world. And people are suffering and dying every day. And they believe that you are there for their best interest. Assyrian Kuyatunu. We are getting there. Northern Nigeria. Be like, so we go change parade. It's like we're going to do another. We're going to change stack. Well, thank you very much for that woman. You know, we Nigerians, uh, if it doesn't have to do with crude oil, we do not want to hear it. We believe Nigeria uh, is blessed with crude oil only. But most of all, we say, oh, Nigeria is seriously blessed with natural resources, crude oil. But if you check our budget, if you check our budget, there is no inclusion of money derived from other natural resources. It's only crude oil, crude oil, crude oil. Then why are Nigerians not asking questions? Say, okay, Nigeria is blessed with so much resources. We do not generate a dime from such resources. No, I don't fair talk. Um, I've said it before. Huh? Nigerian matter tire me. I do not like discussing about it, but there are some issues I cannot just look by. I just have to say something. This lady, this woman, I've said it all. The truth behind the insecurity, she has said it all. And if you check the comments on that, people are blasting her in a way that, oh, you should have covered your face. You should have been more careful. Yes, I don't blame them as well because they are looking for the safety of this woman. I've said it before, Nigeria do not like the truth. If you speak the truth in Nigeria, eh, you'll be blasted for it online. You guys will come online and say, oh, rubbish, oh, you, you are doing this, no, cruise. They will cash cruise over it and forget. And meanwhile, your life will be in danger. The government will come after you. I don't know the government. So top majority have money will come after you for revealing the truth. Human nature are not seek are not true seeking being. Human nature, humans are cruise seeking beings. They are fun seeking beings. Nothing more, nothing less. Go and check the people who speak the truth in, a, in their community. They get hated for it. They get blasted for it. Some of them even buy for it. For it. Over generations, human beings do not like liberation. They do not like the truth. But Nigeria matter. Ha! Ha! Begging. We seriously need help. I don't know how the help will come. <laughs> because me, myself. Oh, God. I keep saying this. Nigeria, we have not suffered enough. If I, if I miss such things, I say, hey, why are you saying? It's the truth. We have not suffered enough. 
we need to suffer, really suffer well. Maybe then we might possibly wake up. So that being said, let's now go to cruise. Then I cruise that look for now. Let's cruise. And this cruise is uh, between uh, Bella's mother and Naira Mali. Sam Larry as well. Sam Larry posted New Year resolution photo. Everyone is allowed to post a bad photo. So it's New Year now, and you are allowed to be happy. You are allowed to post, to go to jail and get released on bail and get accused for killing someone. Possibly they might not be guilty. It's not a small thing. Oh. Naram, uh, Samlari and uh, Naramali went to jail, get accused of having hands in Mubad dead. And now they are back on the road again, even before the year ended. Ah, there is every bit to thank God for it. Sam, Sam Larry said, Happy New Year to you all and the family. May God grant you all your heart desires this year. If you see comments, somebody said, who, who, He who kills with this world shall die by this world. Hmm. Just the, okay, so, someone said, We still do not like you. Bring Mubad back. You went and start sharing life, a live chicken. Like, I don't get it. What was that for? Lame action. Say, so one girl, okay, a lot of uh, social media abuses and everything. Then, Naramali did the same thing. Posted and wished Nigeria well. Then Naramali said, May the year May the new year bring happiness and joy to you and your family. Happy New Year, Malians. Now, then I'm Bella for commas. I say, don't happy new year yourself. Back to clean slate. I will get you for mind. Bygones is not bygones. <laughs> well, everyone is allowed to enjoy himself this new year. You know, Forget the old things, but no be Naramali, yeah, no be more bad case. Oh. More bad case can never be forgotten. And who they delay more bad case? Ah, they say now, according to the police, they say it's octopsy report. Octopsy reports that it's taking five months to come aside. You know, I've I've uh, I've spoken about this thing eh, every time. Eh, I'm becoming really really tired. In fact, my mother they pay me to they talk about this whole bad matter. Doctor, <laughs> see goddamn report. Time. Oh, Allah, 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 Biko, Allah, Biko, Allah, Biko, Kai. <sighs> My prayer for the month is that, yeah? my prayer for the year that I forgot was that. Me person no use my life. Take do sugar. Me anything bad, no I put to any of us. Nothing bad. Because a person no use your put your matter for mine, come walk by. They call the sick people call the sick for justice. Person no go seek for justice for my matter because I need to buy. Please no go see for just my matter because I will be alive and live my life well and die old. Ah, no, 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 no. It's crazy though, but that's just what it is. It is what it is.